Hi there, and welcome to the Air Equipment LLC YouTube channel. This is part three of our topic, HVAC noise control. The most common product we use to attenuate noise in the HVAC systems is what's called a sound attenuator, or a duct silencer, or a noise trap. Whichever name you give it, the construction is fairly similar. The sound trap is constructed out of the same material as the uh, adjacent ductwork, usually galvanized steel, and the casing is most often the same dimension as the ductwork that it's connected to. But inside, it's much different than just a piece of ductwork. There are what we call splitters, and these are uh, modules shaped from perforated metal that have a sound-absorbing media inside, usually fiberglass, and they are in the airstream, and then there are what are known as gaps, which allow the air to flow through. And so as the air flows through the silencer, noise energy is captured in those modules, those splitters, and it gets trapped in there and dissipates among the fibers of the fiberglass, and essentially the noise is trapped, the noise is absorbed. So the noise level on the discharge side of the silencer is much quieter than what came in on the inlet side. There are some basic types of silencers. The first type is called a dissipative. It's a standard type with the fiberglass media. Uh, the next type is called film lined. And this is where the fiberglass media is encapsulated in a, a, a mylar, tedlar film. And that keeps any fibers from ever breaking free and getting into the airstream. This is quite common in uh, medical offices or hospital applications when you just want to make sure that there's no chance of any fibers getting into the airstream. The third type is called the no media or a reactive or packless silencer. There, are, there is no fiberglass in these. It just has uh, hollow chambers and it works a lot like a car muffler to uh, capture some of the noise energy and attenuate it within the silencer so it doesn't continue on downstream. Here's a photograph of a dissipative silencer and you can see that the, uh, the, side, the top panel has been removed from this and the fiberglass acoustical media is behind the, uh, the perforated metal and its shape is very critical. The, the size and shape is uh, it's very critical for, for performing properly. But the air on, in this photo would come in from the left side and it squeezes through the gap and the sound energy is absorbed in those uh, modules, those splitters with the fiberglass. And on the discharge side, it's much quieter coming out. A film line silencer looks very similar, except that the, the fiberglass is encapsulated. And this, again, as I said, keeps uh, fibers from uh, breaking free and getting into the airstream. However, with the, the lining, the film lining around the fiberglass, that creates a very uh, smooth, flat surface. And it, it does cause some of the sound waves to reflect off and continue downstream rather than be absorbed in the fiberglass. So the performance of this is not quite as good as a dissipative type. Quite often, an acoustical spacer is installed, uh, a little um, honeycomb-shaped piece of material separating the perforated metal from the film-lined acoustical media, and this increases the uh, acoustical performance. It helps capture some of the noise energy. The third type is the no-media silencer, and as you can see, these have empty chambers. Uh, the perforated metal uses micro-perforations, and the, the theory here is that the sound energy gets into one of the chambers and rattles around and does not get back into the supply airstream and some noise is attenuated. Some acoustical energy is dissipated within this product. This graph here illustrates uh, the typical performance of, a, of the three different types of attenuators. Uh, showing on the left-hand vertical column insertion loss in decibels. And what this means is how much noise energy is absorbed out of the airstream by passing it through the silencer. So in this case, the higher the number, the better it's working. And as you can see, the dissipative silencer is attenuating more noise energy across the spectrum. At every frequency, it's attenuating a larger amount of noise energy. The red line, the film line, is still attenuating a fair amount of energy, but not quite as much as the dissipative type. And then finally, the no media silencer is still attenuating some noise, 
but not nearly as much as the other two. So it's very critical to analyze the entire situation, what's going on in a particular application to know which silencer is correct and to pick the right one that will attenuate enough noise to achieve your target of what you want in the space. There are many different sizes and shapes of silencers that can be used. Here's some illustrations of some rectangular type and also some circular type and some of the circular types have a, a wide open air passage and some have what they call a, a, a center bullet. It's a, a module that absorbs noise energy that's right in the center of the round airstream. There are elbows and T's and offsets and double elbows. Uh, essentially they are manufactured custom to fit whatever the duct layout is on the project. There are transitions that have the inlet side of the silencer to be one particular duct size and then it uh, bows out or constricts down to a totally different duct size on the discharge side. There are silencers that are called uh, external casing silencers and as you can see especially from the illustration on the upper left here the the splitters, the modules that do the, uh, the where the noise is absorbed, are pushed outward, and so the the overall casing of the silencer, at least on the width dimension, is larger than the ductwork connected to it, and this opens up the air gap and minimizes the pressure drop. So what this does is it allows the same level of attenuation without having nearly as much pressure drop. And we use these type quite often in retrofit applications where the air handler simply cannot take any more pressure drop or else there will be reduced airflow. So we use these type of silencers to get the noise reduction required but to have a minimal impact on pressure drop.